Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts, here to read the second half of this experience. Wow, I would love for God to come and take me. Oh, anyway, here we go. You listening? Now I'm going to tell you about my second journey. One day, we were at a prayer meeting. We were 20 in number. As usual, we started by praising and worshiping the Lord. Suddenly, we felt the presence of God. It was so powerful, as if we were on the day of Pentecost. I remembered that my husband's mother, who was well advanced in age, was very devoted in the work of the Lord, came to me and said, Bernada, let's keep the noise down during the praises. We were making a lot of noise. She was right, because the praise sounded like thunder or sound of waterfall. As I was about to ask my brothers to keep the noise down, I heard the Lord telling me, don't say anything. In the world, when people are making noise, nobody cares. Why then should you stop the praise? We then carried on praising, worshiping the Lord, and I felt that something great would take place. Suddenly, I remembered what the Lord told me in my first journey. I'll come back for you. All of a sudden, I saw a bright light flooding my home. My brothers also. They saw the light, and they all knelt down before the true and faithful God. I did not know what to do, so I just stood still. That light became brighter, and oh, it looked like a human, it took on a human form. I had in front of me the Lord Jesus Christ, whose look was beautiful and full of love. On earth, I have never seen such beauty on a man's face. He came closer to each of my brothers. As I was about to tell my brothers that the Lord came for me, I started speaking in tongues. The Lord came closer to me. Just by looking at me, my spirit left my body. I was in the air and I saw what was happening in my house. I saw people ringing my doorbell. And, and when my husband went to answer, two policemen were at the door. The policeman said, we heard that a lady died here. That's why we came. My husband told him, no, we are at a meeting to worship and praise the Lord. The policeman did not really believe, but they could not enter. They said, okay, carry on, but do not make a lot of noise. I was in the air when I saw all this. Jesus took me by my hands, and we went towards the Dominican Republic. When we reached the city, the Lord told me, there are two great sins this country commits before my father, witchcraft and idolatry. I saw the people of that country running after sorcerers and fetish. Oh, after the Lord brought me to Venezuela and to Mexico. In Venezuela, I was in the air and she's with Jesus, but I saw people turning them to magic, fetishes, and to witchcraft. In Mexico, I saw people meeting and worshiping demons. The Lord told me, the horror of this sin has reached my father. The first sign I give as a warning is that there will be an earthquake in Mexico. If the inhabitants of the country do not repent and come back to me, when I come back on the earth, excuse me, when I came back on the earth, I went to Mexico and gave the message to the people. People did not listen. And recently, there was a terrible earthquake in Mexico. Anyway, when we were still in the air, the Lord told me that the hands of his father have been stretched out upon the inhabitants of the earth. I saw the sea with gigantic waves resembling a monster. I also saw hurricane happening on earth. I asked the Lord, well, Lord, what will become of the Christians when all this happens? He answered, go tell them that for those who are faithful to me, none of their hairs will be touched. After that, the Lord brought me to another place. I saw places 
where the earth was split. The Lord told me many countries will soon be wiped out. Then we left that place and went to another place where waters were in motion. We went by these waters through a tunnel and reached the depths of the earth. I saw great doors. I w it was not the same as those I saw during my first journey. On these doors were big chains. The Lord went toward the doors, and after he had removed the chains, he let me in through the tunnel. Dear brothers and sisters, I saw thousands of people with their heads down, wearing torn clothes. They were chained with big chains whose noise would lead to deafness. Then I said, Lord, what does this mean? He answered, all these men and women are on their way to hell. Among those were on their way to hell. I saw my husband's senior brother, Adolfo. He was a difficult man. He used to get married and divorced when he wanted, and he used to curse God. Then I started pleading with the Lord to let me go back on earth and warn Adolfo that he was going to hell, but the Lord did not answer me. Again, I saw Adolfo and his wife walking through the tunnel. They were at the edge of hell. I pleaded with the Lord again to let me go back on earth and tell the people that I, what I had seen. The Lord lifted his hands up and said, go, tell them that time is nearly over. He said again, thousands and thousands of my people will go to hell. Adolfo, his time is over. He is going to die. Mm. When I came on earth, my brother-in-law, Adolfo, did not want to change his ways of living. One day, he quickly came home from work and said to his, work, to his wife, I can't work any longer. Something is telling me that I'm going to die. His wife answered, it's because you are drunk as usual that you're saying this. Both of them went to bed. Some minutes later, she had a vision. In her vision, she saw her husband and she in the tunnel clothed with shabby clothes and going to hell. She heard the Lord telling her, time for both of you is over. When I was still in the air, the Lord told me, do you know why I brought you here for a second time? It was to show you that during your first visit, the number of lost was less than this time. Suddenly, Jesus and I left the place to the first heaven and then the second heaven. When we reached the third heaven, I saw angels bustling one from one side to another. Then I asked the Lord, why are these angels in motion? Jesus answered, it is true that my angels are in motion here, but I am going to show you how the earth is also in motion. Be careful because many demons have invaded the earth. The devil is furious against Christians because he has little time left. The Lord allowed me to see those demons in, a t in terrible anger, and he told me, those demons, you see, are demons of adultery. They will attack thousands of my servants, oh my goodness, and many will fall into that sin. Do you know why the devil succeeds in causing my servants to fall? It is because my servants do not give me all the glory. They steal my glory, become proud. On top of that, their wives live in a great spiritual disorder. They did not build their homes with wisdom. I saw thousands of angels that I could not count. There were many of them ready for battle. Then Jesus told me, now I am sending these thousands of angels on the earth to protect my people. In these last days, I will double the protection. That's encouraging to me, y'all. I will double the protection. Protection will be doubled. Satan will also be du will double his attacks. But you should not forget that your God is great and mighty. If you are attached to him, nothing will happen to you. 
I told you this is really moving. Mm. The Lord then brought me to another place. There I saw a huge table rounded with gold chairs. On each chair a name was written and a robe of fine linen was placed in front of each chair. On the table I saw crowns. Then I noticed that there was a chair that was bigger than others. In front of that chair was a huge cup in gold. Jesus told me to go and see what was in the cup. It was full of wine, ready to be served. Jesus told me, do you know why the wine is ready to be served? Go and tell my people that I am at the door. I'm coming soon. The Lord gave me a robe of fine linen and a crown. I wore the robe and the crown. Then the Lord brought me to another place where I saw things like a mirror. He told me, there's neither stain nor crease on your robe isn't it? None will enter through this door, nor take place at this table, unless he is clothed like this. Some among my people on earth have dirtied their robes. Others have crumpled robes. Still, others have put their robes aside and have forgotten them. Tell my people that it's time they washed their robes, ironed them, and took them back. Christians should ask the Holy Spirit to help them keep their robes in good state because the king will soon celebrate the marriage supper in his father's kingdom. I come from a divorced family and I grew up with my father. My mother was a very religious woman. As my father, he believed in nothing. I have a sister who's in a Catholic convent, but I know that Jesus will soon take her out of that and she will preach the gospel with me. But I know that he will soon take her. Yes. I pray a lot for her. When I was thinking about my mother, about my mother's life in that mystic religion, during my first journey in paradise, I cried before the Lord and told him, Lord, my mother's lost, yet I've preached the gospel to her, but she won't listen. More and more she has clung to that pagan religion. The Lord answered me and said, I will save your mother, but I will take her home immediately. Otherwise, she will fall back into sin and go to hell. For this reason, as soon as she is converted, she will die sometime later and come here in paradise. When I came back on earth, I prayed, cried, sighed, reminded the Lord to the promise he gave me. But I saw my mother who was more and more involved in that idolatry of her religion. One day God used my son to convert my mother. Just three days after her conversion, she died. Praise the Lord. During my second journey in paradise, the Lord told me, Look what my mouth says. My hands fulfill it. I saw my mother in that beautiful place. She was among other women. Then the Lord led me in an, in an area in paradise where I saw thousands of children clothed in white who were praising and glorifying the Lord. Jesus told me, these children are those who have been aborted by their parents and criminals, doctors. Babies that people killed while they are still in their mother's womb and that are found in dustbins and rivers are here in heaven. Dear brothers and sisters, contrary to what you think, for the Lord, a fetus is a human being from conception, from the very first day of pregnancy. Jesus told me again, Bernada, work, for I am your strength. This message has to be published into the whole world. It is a message for Christians, pastors, and for all the inhabitants of the earth, including you. Let him who is holy continue to be holy. At that moment, the gates of heaven were open. There was a beautiful escalator. 
Jesus called thousands of angels who came, and then the Lord accompanied me to my home. When we got home, I saw my husband and the Christian brothers who were waiting for my spirit to come. I looked at my physical body that remained on earth, and I told the Lord that I do no longer want this body. The Lord told me, you cannot go back to heaven with me, for it is not your time yet. You have to tell my people first what you saw in order for them to get ready. With, any, with a powerful voice, he told me, enter and receive life. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. Scriptural reference, John 11, 25, 26, by Bernada Fernandez. Yeah, that's the end of that. Oh, my goodness. You see how emotional I get on that. Ah. Uh, Wow. Listen, you guys. This is Pat Love and her two cents. This is so serious. I knew I had to read this. I knew I had to read it. When I tell you this thing is moving, it's moving. You can feel that the Lord is in it. When you know God, you can tell when God is in something. You know, my mother died. <clears throat> my mother died suddenly. And uh, I want to confirm that this is really true. Uh, my mother didn't really want to hear about all my salvation in Christianity because she had a fear of, of organized religion and she thought there was something demonic about it. Even though she believed in God, she believed in the Bible, and she believed in Jesus Christ, she did not believe all the other stuff. And uh, she thought it was mind control. Well, I had prayed that God would take her as soon as her. His mercy was satisfied enough to take her to heaven. That when she got to the point in her spirit where her repentance was at a level that satisfied God's mercy, he would take her before she had another second to reason it, to reason herself out of it and start doubting again. And do you know, they told me my mother died suddenly while she was in the hospital. Just boom, gone. And then the Lord gave me a dream that she was playing the most beautiful instrument on this table. And the whole mansion full of people were listening and being mesmerized and ministered to and comforted through this music. It was beautiful. It was something like nothing you'd ever hear on this earth. It was, it, I can't even de describe, so I won't try. But the music was so beautiful, I followed it. And when I followed it, I followed it into a room. And there was my mother, the source of this music. She was in heaven, you guys. Ministering in music. She was in heaven. She made it. And the Lord had already shown me my father made it. He came in a little boy's body to tell me. So I just say this to say, you guys, I would rather believe and find out it wasn't true, then not believe and find out it was. Because no matter what, while I've been living on the face of this earth, God has given me love, joy, peace, wholeness, healing. Ah, oh, I can feel his presence from time to time. I, I've heard his voice. I've heard him warn me. I, I mean, God is so real. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a man-made religion. When you get past all the humanity, all the, all the man-made nonsense, all the, uh, the pomp and ceremony, pomp and circumstance, the ritualisms, the, the programs, and all, of the, all the religious denominationalisms that divide, all that nonsense, you get to God. That's where you go. You get to God. And I'm telling you, your life will never be the same. And it'll be worth it throughout eternity. God bless you.